This is the first show that I'm having here at the studio. It's a, a solo show. I've had other shows, but they're group shows. This is the first show that is largely landscape, almost all landscape, and uh, this is a Canadian themed ex exhibit. The title Sublime, I guess I'm influenced by one of my favorite books, and uh, it's about, it's called American Sublime. And the feel, when I started gathering the work for this exhibition, I, I kept on thinking of the work in this, in this book, and I thought, you know what, um, this is perfect because this sort of aura, this essence is coming through in these paintings and in this, whether it's early morning or uh, evening paintings, strong light in the late daytime filters through a lot of this work. So I, I thought, uh, what, what a perfect title. Not only is it my first solo here officially, but it's also um, a gathering of of some work that is, uh, I guess, my response to people constantly saying, you know, you're pretty good at landscapes, you should do more, because I'm not known for landscapes. Galleries have always carried uh, other works like my still life, which is what I'm mostly known for. I've always done art for myself first, so while the galleries may like, you know, my Gallery in Montreal, Gallery in Toronto, uh, in the States, uh, certain work, they, they prefer certain work. I have to remain interested in my work, right? So I'm painting for myself, and I will always um, uh, gravitate towards what I'm really passionate about. So I have the luxury of doing that. That luxury comes with sacrifice, because if you're not just churning work out for a gallery, there's sacrifices. I guess I kind of fall into that romantic tradition of an artist who just does what he wants regardless of the consequences. There comes times when you just feel this burst of energy and enthusiasm and you just have to get it out. And the landscapes, some of the landscapes are fantastic for that. That's why you, you know, you'll see this very, very uh, uh, buttery, large stroked approach, uh, which is just capturing energy and light. I mean, who wants to see an exhibition where everything looks exactly the same? There's an eight-foot painting that I'm still working on. It was supposed to be done for the show, but uh, it's not. But the, the advantage to that is that people can see me working on this eight-foot painting uh, of Chantry Island and um, the beach at Southampton uh, on Lake Huron. And so uh, it's almost like I'm, I'm my own artist in residence here, right? So people can come here and, and chat with me and, and see me working on and just see what it it is to, to see a work in progress and, and they, they can come back maybe twice and see the progress.